What's your frustration level? It's just frustrating, man. Um, I mean, uh, it's a fast game. It's a tough game to call. Um, you know, but it was a play at the end of the game. You know, it's a 13-point game. Four minutes to go. I go up, get a door reverse layup, and the guy just smacked me in the head. You know, the whole game, I'm telling them, you know, they're putting their hands in my chest. I'm getting pushed in the back. They're riding me. They're doing all, all the things that we get whistled on us. Um, I'm telling them, they're doing, they're doing these things to guard me. The teams are trying to, you know, stop me. They're being physical. They're trying hard. So just look for the contact because it's there. And then, like I said, you're down 13. I do a reverse layup. The guy smacked me in the head. The referee's right there. And I, I ask him, you know, how do you not make that call? And he tells me, we all agreed that you leaned into him. That's an insult, man. You you leaned into him? He smacked me in the head. Like, come on, man. That's, that's frustrating as hell. When you, and then you get that type of explanation. You leaned into him and he smacked me in the head. What did, what did you say at the end of the game to get the T? I went right up to him and I said something about it. I said, he, you can't, if you say I didn't see it, that's one, then whatever. You know, they say that all the time. We, that's not what I saw. It's just a way to, to get out of the conversation. But you can't tell you can't tell me all three of us agreed that you leaned in here when I'm doing a reverse layup. I don't have time to lean back and try to get fouled while I'm looking at the rim, making a reverse layup when the guy's smacking me in the head. Like, don't insult me like that. Mm -hmm. Just say I didn't see it.